Hi guys, how's it going? Just thought I'd do a quick update for my salads deck. Uh, with the new ban list out, there's been a few changes. So, here we go. Now. One gazelle, two foxy, three spinny, one jack jaguar, falco, D lady debug, one of. Three Flame Buffalo, which is a really good card. Using Spinny as a discard, it can draw two cards, is really good. Three Ash, two Ghost Ogre. I'm not sure about the Ghost Ogre. Um, it doesn't negate, but it destroys, you can destroy one of your opponent's monster monsters that activates its effect, which is okay. And it doesn't negate the effect. Um, but, I'm, but I'm thinking I may replace this with Nibiru. So there we've got two Droll and Lockbird. Droll's been coming in really good recently on Master Duel. But also you can use Max C on Master Duel as well. Um, you can actually have a nice effect where you can Max C your opponent. And then if you draw in too many cards because they're summoning too many monsters, you can draw to stop drawing cards. Three three parallel exceed, really good card. So I've, I took it out. I've had to put it back in because it's too good. If if I if I have a parallel exceed in my hand and I link someone, he's coming out onto the field and bringing another one with him. And that's just game winner really with update jammer and then transcode talker up oh, attack twice for game. If I'm going second, I'm usually bringing out access code talker or an OTK in. Two in perms, I thought three was a bit too cloggy. Two seems to be a better ratio at the moment. I got two raw, two rage. What can I say about these two cards? Raw's the counter trap that negates anything. And Rage can destroy up, th up to three cards on the field. Really good. And you can search them out. And I'll send them to the graveyard with Gazelle to search them. Really good. Forbidden Chalice. I've been playing this one a bit in Master Duel recently. And I've been doing really well with it to negate my, one of my opponent's monsters. You can also add the attack if you need the extra attack to get over something. Harpy's Feather Duster. Pretty good. Very good, in fact. Sanctuary, one off. Not a very good field spell, but it has to be in there. Solomon Great Circle, two of now. We're allowed to have two now. Two will. Three Sarnet Mining. Really good card, Sarnet Mining. <laughs> Send Spinny or whatever you need to the graveyard. Find yourself Gazelle or whatever else you need out of the deck. Called by the Grave. Really good for negating Ash or anything else that sends to the graveyard to activate its effect. One Desires now. We can only have one of these. Oh well. Better than nothing. And I'll sort out the extra deck then now. Hi guys, back again here. Show you the rest of my Salmon Greats extra deck. Three Bay Links, really good card. Uh, send it from the graveyard to the to Banished to uh, stop one of your salads being destroyed. Is really good. Probably the best card in the deck, some Night Wolf. Um, yeah, you can basically add an Ash Blossom from the graveyard to your hand with this card. You can keep recycling your Ash Blossoms if you want. Three, ba three Heat Leo. Heat Leo is really good. Um, bounce one of your opponents. Or is it put in the... Yeah, 
you can um, shuffle one of your opponent's spell or traps into the deck, back into the deck when you summon this guy. So if you use Sanctuary Effect to summon him twice, that's two cards you shuffle him from your opponent's spell and trap zone back into the hand, back into the deck. It's really good, <laughs> especially against um, Imperial Order. Doesn't work against Skill Drain because you can't activate your effect. Or does it? No, it doesn't. Can't activate your effects on the skill drain, so you can't do that. But it's still really good. Uh, Transcode Talker, really good. Uh, all these cards are really good, but Transcode Talker, yeah. Again, won't work on the skill drain. Ask me how. Ask me how I know one must duel. Um, where skill drain is like everywhere because it's at three. Um, yeah. Transcode Talkers, you know, bring back one of your. Um, link monsters and put it in the in your where you point to your arrows that's really good and if it points to that if they both point to each other then you can't target them with card effects so heat the you could you have him pointed to him or sunlight wolf point them both at transcode talker or either one at transcode talker and they can't be targeted Update Jammer, which is probably the one you want to bring back if you're going into your Access Code Talker play. Attack twice with Access Code Talker for, for 5300 damage. That's 10,600 damage, which is game winning really. Plus you've got the Access Code effect to pop cards on the field by banishing different element uh, link monsters from the graveyard. <laughs> Splash Mage. Is good if you were. I'm not, I'm not sure. This is probably the most questionable card in the extra deck at the moment. If um, you bring you bring him out as a last resort, really, and if you need to get to Transcode Talker, and you haven't got the materials, Splash Mage will get you there. Appaloosa. Uh, this is a recent addition. Um, well, if you can make a four material Appaloosa, you've got four negates, which is really good. Um, but what I usually do if I'm going first is try and get... I suppose if I can't get Baguska out going first, I'll try and get Appaloosa. Or Stalio, really good. Another way to find Gazelle out of your deck. Um, and Baguska puts all even... You know the effect now, by now everybody does, it's pretty good. Doesn't affect Link Monsters though, but affects everything else. That's it for the uh, Salads deck for February 2022. Uh, any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.